Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with environmental engineering. So the problem is calculate diameter and discharge of the circular sewer laid at the slope of 1 in 400 when it is running half full. Okay, so then with a velocity of 1.9 meter per second, n in the Manning's formula is 0 0.012. Okay, so now we have to find out the discharge and the uh, diameter of the sewer. So the given values, so the given velocity V equal to 1.9 meter per second, N is 0 0.012, then S value is 1 by 400, okay. So when the sewer is running half full, so now the area of section A equal to pi by D, sorry, pi into D square divided by 8. So then wetted perimeter P equal to pi D divided by 2. Okay, so when the canal is running half full, so the perimeter is pi D by 2. So when, in, uh, when the canal, uh, when the sewer is running full, the perimeter is pi into D. So then hydraulic mean depth HMD is, that is R equal to D by 4. Okay, so these are all the values uh, when, the canal, when the sewer is running half full. So now the Manning's formula, So in the Manning formula V equal to 1 by N into R power 2 by 3 into root S okay or S power 1 by 2. So this is the Manning's formula. So we can directly substitute all the values over here. So now V equal to 1.9 equal to 1 divided by the N value is uh, the given N value is 0 0.012 into R value is uh, R is D by 4 so D by 4 the whole power 2 by 3 into root s so s value is 1 by 400 power 1 by 2 okay so solving this we got the only unknown is d so solving this we got the value of d equal to 1.23 meter okay so this is the diameter of the sewer okay so next thing is uh, uh, we have to find out the discharge so discharge q equal to a into velocity area into velocity so now we can take the area value is pi into d square divided by 8 okay so when the canal is running full so the pi d square by 8 okay so into v is 1.9 so now we can take pi into d square so pi into d value is 1.23 square divided by 8 into 1.9 so solving this we got the value of 1.13 meter cube per second okay so this is the discharge value okay so this is the method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you